it's like already the next morning but I just saw um, to have this video and I know that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be wondering okay what's Judy to respond to this Someone coming to take my TV. I have the camera on in case it's a cycle. <laughs> um, I can bring. Do you want to like turn it on, make sure it's working fast or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, my TV has gone bye bye. Now I'm gonna. He's gonna be taking the stands also. It is all gone, and I'm being crazy. But I might bring this. Just gonna make my bag heavy. But. Everybody, I'm Kendall Hogan. Welcome to the Indigo Bootcamp Calorie Burn. Can't tell you burn some calories today. We'll see you next time. Good job. Thank you. That was intense. I love the... The hard part is just getting yourself to start. Once you start it, you love it. Okay. Now to clean up, I have to walk down to the plaza to get some things done and then... <coughs> Excuse me. And then come back home. I'm watching for the joint legs. I have to show you guys something. I wanted to show you guys real quick my afro. I wish I could show you better. Hmm, let me see. Let me show you here. Okay, this is my afro. This um, this is my loose texture in the back right here. This is my real afro on the sides. They are like really tight. Um. That's the reason why I choose to cut my hair for the if not for this texture, I'll just cut my hair for it. Um, but over here it's really tight, so it's always puffy. But now it's going longer, I can actually make it just fall. And then my hair just goes into its natural fringe. And because of that, I'm like, I can wait for my next wash and go. But I don't have time for that right now. I need to stretch it so I can live it an easier life but oh my gosh I love my natural hair um yeah guys I was going to I was gonna go out this camera takes a while to adjust to light there we go I was gonna go out um, and get some stuff done in the plaza but I had to deep condition my hair as you guys saw and now I'm gonna take down the deep condition my um heating stand and try to fix it into my um bags because I just bought this I'm not gonna leave that here um, so I'm gonna take it down and try to fix it in I'm sorry, I can't get over my hair Like I was saying, I was gonna go and um, get some stuff done so that we could we could go out today The only time I got to step out was to help the guy take my TV and to talk to my uncle in Nigeria He called me. I was gonna like go out after washing my hair and stretching my hair But it's getting dark already. It's, I'm in the bathroom right now and look like that's outside It's getting dark already by the time I am done with my hair um, it's gonna be a lot darker and I don't want to because I'm walking. I don't want to go out walking to the plaza That's gonna take me like 45 minutes to walk all the way to I just and then get there and then walk all the way back I just do not think that's safe at all. So I'm gonna have to postpone that to tomorrow I have my hair all braided. I probably should cover. I'll cover it later. I, I don't know if I share this. I got. I bought my ticket for LA. 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 How did you just say LA or LA? I don't know. However, I bought my ticket and um, I got that like two days ago. Actually, I just was never like minded enough to be like, yeah, I got my ticket. I'm all set. Whatever. I won't be uploading on the traveling date. I'm sure you guys know that already. Tada! I got myself some liver. Um, it's chicken liver. I hate. Cow liver is like icky. Chicken liver is a lot better. I love chicken liver, so I'm gonna have that because I've been eating like um, bread and like um, cereal and all those other things. I wanna eat like meat. I'm craving meat. I'm a carnivore. I need to eat meat, so I'm gonna cook that up and have that for dinner. After that, I'm gonna um, take this down and I'm going to put it in this bag. I don't know if you guys can see because it's dark. Let me see. This will help. Hopefully, yeah. I'm gonna put it in that bag and then I'm gonna put clothes on top of it and then when I go out tomorrow I am going to buy a new bag hopefully I can find a place to buy that's close by um, that way I can also put because that way I can 
you know, put things like my hair dryer and my light. Like, that's what I was talking about. That's my filming light. It's huge. And I also have, like, a really long stand. So I'm going to take it all apart and have another bag to put them in. So this is what I was talking about. I was basically going to put my hair dryer in there. Yeah, it closes just so I checked if it was going to close. There's still a little bit of space at the top. So it's going to close just fine. So that's my hair dryer. Uh, um, I'm going to... I don't have that much clothes, so I'm going to just put it on this side. I'm going to be going out to the plaza tomorrow. Hopefully, I can find a big bag that's like that one. Because I still have this little thing. It's not going to occupy much space. I can put that in the other bag. For those people that think that I'm sharing too much, I've been vlogging well over... I've been daily vlogging for well over a year and a half. Or maybe two years. Daily vlogging off and on. And I've been sharing things. I've been sharing everything. And you might think it's personal. You may think it's... Um, things that were personal, things that were not that personal, but they were my things. You see many, many vlogs of women bringing their camera into their bathroom and literally showing you their private parts and bathing their baby right in front of you. And yet you watch it. And they just have this little stuff covering their private part and, and, and they bath their baby right in front of you. That's not private. That's not something that's close to someone's heart and isn't private. But it's not a problem to you because it's something that's happy-go-lucky. Oh my gosh, it's a cute baby. So it's not like something you should complain about, I guess. I have, I have chosen to deal with what I'm dealing with the way I want to deal with it. And um, this is how I want to deal with things. And this is how I have chosen to deal with things. And this is how I'm moving on. So I get out of here. I might have my ticket. Everything is ready. Just need to pack. Hmm. And wait for the day for the date then i'll be out of here i'll leave my past behind and any comments about my past is gone and no more videos of me going oh no why what is going on oh i'm so stressed no more videos about that at least i hope so <laughs> but yeah pull through this together thank you guys for watching Please thumbs up and subscribe. Hey guys, I am so sorry for this. Look, I seem to always come here on here with like um, when I'm all ready for bed. It's like already the next morning, but I just saw um, to have this video and I know that a lot of you guys are probably going to be wondering, okay, what's Judith's response to this? Mm -hmm, let's see what she's going to say about it. And I am not going to go into that. I am trying, I'm finding peace in my, um, in where I am now maritally and where I am in my life and what I'm trying to do with myself, um, professionally, my career and just in everything that I'm doing and my future, I'm young and I have a future ahead of me and I just, I, I'm just, I, and I just don't think getting into that is a smart decision in any way. So if you're wondering what I have to say to that, I just, I'm just going to say I have nothing to say. If you have any, I might reply your comments. If you have a comment or two that you, I might, I might reply a comment or two. But I am not going to make a video talking about a reply or stuff like that. I'm sorry, I have allergies. So yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, guys. I'm sorry. The last, my last few vlogs have been really, really intimate enough. Like <laughs> it has been really, really, really intimate. I shared with you guys my my husband just left me. I've cried on camera. I have shared with you guys my ups and downs, my difficulties. Those are already way too intimate and way too private. I am not going to make a reply to that video. I am not going to reply that video. The best thing I can reply and say to you is a yes or no. Do I agree or do I go ahead? Do I agree? Do I agree or do I um, approve of what he said? And that's a no for multiple reasons there's just way so many no's in that video and that's all i'm gonna say no but apart from that i refuse to taint my future with this i'm trying to move on and I'm, i and and all that i've shared on the internet are things that are personal and hard enough to share and i'm not gonna go that deep that's i'm not gonna go that deep i don't know why he decided to go like that but I'm not gonna go that deep. That's all I'm gonna do. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that because I know you guys will be wondering about that. Going that deep is not a wise decision in any way for myself, um, professionally, career-wise, um, 
socially it just in any way you can think of it it's not wise for me and i'm trying to make the best decision for myself as a woman so yeah that is my response so yeah thank you guys for watching and thank you for your support and i hope to see you guys tomorrow bye guys